South Dakota extended the nation's longest active winning streak to 14 games over the weekend with a pair of victories here at home against Western Illinois and St. Thomas. Here to talk about that. And what's coming up next is head coach Don Plitzelwhite. And Don, it got started Thursday night against Western Illinois. A little bit of a slow start for you guys offensively in this game. Uh, but when that third quarter rolled around, you put the clamps down and, and really got rolling. Well, overall, on the weekend, we did not shoot the ball well from the three-point arc. You know, but in both games, starting in the Western Illinois game, we still scored it efficiently. We scored 70 points. We scored it at a better than 45% clip. We took care of the basketball. So we did a lot of things offensively to keep ourselves in a good spot. And then defensively, we were incredibly solid held Western Illinois down, made life a little bit more difficult. Certainly did a great job of that throughout the course of the game, but then it became even more emphasized when our offense started to click a little bit in that third quarter. Yeah, you turned them over 24 times in the game, 10 in that third quarter, and that's really what kind of sparked things for you. Yeah, I thought we, we did a good job of our help side defense, came and made some plays in that third quarter. One-on-one, -on -one, we didn't do as quite as good of a job as we had been doing, so those are things we can go back and readjust. You know, it's not like we're just trying to find things that we have to get better at there really are some things that teams do to make it uncomfortable for us and one-on-one -on -one defense was something that we had to get a little bit better at after that game. St. Thomas uh, it's kind of the same story or similar story with the way the offense started in that game but on the defensive end the Tommies were having some some success on those back cuts that ball screen action caught you guys a, a couple of times now they didn't convert every one of those opportunities but it just felt a little off there to start. Well, we were pressuring them, and they have the lane wide open, and so that allows them to get some back cut opportunities, and, and they got those against us. At the same time, we held them down to 11 points. So, you know, but it felt like the possessions were really, really long, and then at the end of the shot clock, they would get a, an opportunity at the rim. And so, again, something that we can go back and readdress and get better at. I think the really good thing for us over the course of the weekend is that, again, we score. We, we didn't shoot the ball. We shot it at an 18% clip from the three-point arc over the course of two games. I've coached a lot of teams over the course of years that when you don't shoot the ball well it's really hard to win basketball games or you don't win basketball games and then your offensive efficiency is not very good at all again our offensive efficiency we almost were two to one in assist to turnovers and it's hard to get assists if you're not making open shots sure. you know and so but we were able to find ways to score the ball efficiently around the rim that allowed us to score at a 45 percent clip overall we were able to hold our opponents down to 48 points per game over the course of two games that certainly put us in really good position our defensive field goal percentage was at 35% in both or overall over the two games and 25% for the three-point arc. So the good news for us is we're not one of those teams, or at least we weren't this weekend, a team that if we didn't shoot the ball particularly well from one spot from the three-point arc, we still put ourselves in good positions. The other good thing is Maddie Kroll had a great weekend. You know, she really played well. Our uh, Some of our top kids live. Chloe Hanna scored it, but they didn't score it as efficiently as maybe they had in the past in some other games, and that happens at times. You know, it's a long year, and that happened. And, and Maddie Kroll, I thought, played really, really well. Kaya shot the ball really well this weekend, too. Let's talk a little bit more about Maddie because she had 15 points in each of the two games for you on the weekend. She's now averaging 10.2 over her last four. She's shooting at a 50% clip. You know, <laughs> I think Maddie gets lost sometimes with, with everything that's around her. We, we obviously, her talent was well documented coming in, being the highest ever recruit that you guys have had here out of high school. Uh, but are we seeing kind of the evolution of her game a little bit offensively right now? Absolutely we are, and I think she's starting to become more comfortable in trying to get the game to slow down a little bit for her, but taking some shots that weren't really in her repertoire per se, you know, coming into college. And, and that's uncomfortable to do that, for sure it is, and now she's becoming more comfortable with some of those things. And she's going to continue to improve. She's going to continue to to understand when to attack and when to just move it and all those type of different things but it's been really fun to watch her and she's having a lot of fun playing playing great defensively she's been doing that since she's been here but certainly all year long took a bunch of charges over the course of the weekend so I'm sure she's feeling a little rough uh, heading into this week you know has got to work through some of those things but she's doing an awful lot of good things for us as wears it all on her sleeve too she plays with a lot of emotion it is fun to watch that's for sure but uh, with those two wins as we said 14 in a row now you head, head north to North Dakota State on Thursday North Dakota on Saturday these are two teams you handled pretty convincingly here on your home floor but the bison are up first uh, they've had kind of an up and down go here uh, of late but 
as you know, Fargo is a tough place to go in and get a win, and and that's certainly got to be at the forefront here as you get ready for Thursday night. Well, and they're very experienced, you know, with Heaven Hamling, and we have she's documented against us how well she can play, and Ryan Cobbins can score in so many different ways and can just you know really stuff a stat sheet, and Emily Deet's playing and scoring efficiently and getting offensive rebounds, and Deaton is being really really aggressive for them, and you know they just and Skibble's a kid that gets a lot of shots, and now they you know they're they're I think they're a team that really attacks so fast and aggressively and can score in so many different ways and can string together arc shots uh, so a really a tough challenge there and then you go to North Dakota and North Dakota is on fire right now winners of the last six games and scoring at about a, scoring about 71 points a game over those last six games and shooting it efficiently and I think they're playing with a lot of confidence too. Yeah, how different is that team, the Fighting Hawks, and the one you saw here to open conference play? Well, I think they're playing with a great deal of confidence. I think they're playing with a great deal of tempo. But I thought they played fast and hard. I think they've done that. You know, they've done, they always do that. That's who they are. But now they're playing fast, hard, and they're playing with confidence, and I think that makes a big difference. I think they're making a lot of shots right now. Yeah, Borowitz in particular, right? I mean, she's really filling it up. And, and someone I think came off the bench for them uh, when you saw him here, She's been red hot and certainly a big key to their success here over the last six wins. Yeah, probably a little bit of a surprise that she came off the bench in that game, but trying to get things going certainly on their end. And I think she's leading the conference right now in scoring. And so, again, a great opportunity for us to continue to grow and continue to grind. And it'd be nice if we shoot a little bit better than 18.8%. That'd be fun, too. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you. Safe travels. And uh, we'll catch up again soon. Sounds good. Thank you.